everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the only card fight channel that brings you breaking news the day it's released. I'm kidding, I don't do that. But guys, I am here with an extremely important update. I just got done watching episode 3 of Card Fight Vanguard GZ. So guys, as always, this is the after episode news report. I'm starting this with GZ. I should have done this a long time ago, but I didn't. Starting now. Guys, this episode does can contain some spoilers to what happens in the episode. I have a lot of theories and a lot of ideas. I can't get them all into this video. So guys, stick with me. Later this week, I will have that theory video on new cards and their skills. And a bunch of other stuff I'm super, super excited for. But with that being said, we're going to hop into the video. We have a couple confirmations on some new cards for this set. This wonderful, wonderful, um... Godly Scent set. I'm gonna cry. So, we finally know what this beautiful card right here, Zeroth Dragon of Disaster Sea, does. It was in today's episode. It was, um, we're gonna start off with the grade 3 of the episode. Blue Wave Marshall Vios versus Shion. Um, and he has a, st a shtick against... Blazing Sword Fightus, which will lead into another theory. But he has a skill that is going to completely, I think, dominate the competitive scene for a while. Especially with Angel's Feather getting support. And I'm really hoping that they find some way around this. But here's why. And what I think, from what I understand of the skill. So he has an on Vanguard stride skill. Soul Blast 1, when your junior strides, you may pay the cost. If you do... Until end of turn, all your opponent's vanguards get continuous vanguard. This unit's power is always 11k. <sighs> Guys, I understand that No Seal isn't a popular build here in America, but in Japan, this is a major thing. This is a major counter. Just so you guys, just in case you don't know what No Seal does, <coughs> the No Seal runs the Broken Heart combo. Where you fill your rear guards with broken hearts, which you can see on mine and Black Moon's Easter stream that I did. But what it does is No Seal Grade 3. Whenever a No Seal unit is put into the damage zone, you can take it out and change it for a card in hand. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, this isn't bad. But if you have four broken hearts on rear guards, and you get a No Seal on and your opponent hits a no seal into the damage zone or you g-guard and you filter out this loop this is a problem because the standard loop is you have two or three no seals in hand and then you activate no seal skill which allows you to filter them out ridiculous amounts of times i think i've gotten up to over i don't know a, a bunch probably over 50k just off of broken hearts because literally broken heart gives 2k to it and no seal so you're literally 2k 2k so it's 8k to your vanguard 2k to all your rears and you're just spamming the skill until you can't anymore then your vanguard's ridiculously overpowered but this just stops it. it it literally puts a no during your opponent's turn you can't break your you can't break the amount of power that you're going to be guarding with which this is important like this is going to literally capitalize on a lot of deck's weaknesses um, anything that gains power off of guarding. I, the only clans that come to mind again is Angel Feather and probably Gold Paladins. But still, for those two clans, this card is going to be broken. And we don't even know what its GB2 or other skills are yet. So this card has a lot in store for us. <coughs> and that's what makes me super excited for it. Plus the art's nice. And in the anime, it's awesome. Even has an awesome stride. Um, it's Marine General something dragon i'm gonna refresh the page one more time to see if we're gonna if it will come up yet nope, those are the reprints and he was down in the confirm list there he is i don't see a stride in this list at all but his stride was pretty cool as well which made me really happy but guys, I know what you want to see. You've been waiting for me to talk about it. Let's talk about the Xeroth Dragon. Xeroth Dragon of Disaster Sea. So right now, we're just going to look at the art. We're not even going to look at anything else. Right off the bat, it's a, it's a grade 4. 
The art looks amazing in this. It looks evil as, as all heck. And if you can look down at the power level area, 25k for a stride unit. That is automatic 36. But guys, it gets even better. Now we're going to go into its skill. And I'm just going to read through it. I want you guys to think about it while I read through it. So it has triple drive, I think. Yep, triple drive. And it's a grade 4. 25k, one critical. <coughs> no clan, no race yet. It's a Z rare. So we're going to try to take the skill as slowly as possible. I'm trying. Nope, I didn't want that. I want to grab... All right, nope, it's not gonna let me. Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. So, stride, stride step, step. Choose a grade three from hand or greater with the same name as your Vanguard and discard it. Stride this card on your Vanguard. At the end of turn, remove this card and all other cards in your G zone from game. Can stride when both players are at grade three or greater. It gains power in the heart. Um. At the end of turn, remove all card, remove this card and all cards in your G zone from game. Well, I mean, that's not bad. What what could its skill be? Let's see, counter blast two. When this is placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose five cards from your hand and drop zone. Call them to separate rear guards. Okay. Until end of turn, they get five K. That's not terrible. What what could be wrong with this? And at the end of turn, that this attack choose one of your rear guards and exchange positions with them the state remains the same at the end of battle that this unit attacked choose one of your other rear guards and ex exchange position with them i'm done i quit what what are we going to do against that and this being the first card revealed i'm assuming it's the weakest I'm honestly shocked. It, it literally combined almost everything I could think of of all the water theme clans. We have Aqua Force and Grand Blue. Oh, you expected Bermuda? Uh, no. I mean, I guess Bermuda changed places. I, I There's really... I mean... Yeah, there's nothing you can do. You're gonna get six attacks off. And, this, and how this is worded, being, a, again... This we have no official release on how the skill works. At the end of battle, that this unit attacked, choose one of your other rear guards and exchange their position. So, if you guys aren't thinking the same way I'm doing, like I am, <clears throat> how the skill could potentially work and really be broken is you have all three columns. You have your so let's say you attack with your left column first. So you attack with the first rear guard which should be at 14k, you exchange it with the unit behind it. Now that unit moves up and attacks for 14k. Now normally you would just end up exchanging it with the behind it, but there's one extra step you can take. Since it's not selecting in the same column, you can choose your t grade two behind your vanguard and exchange their positions and attack with that. Literally you can filter out columns and, and that's good. Because that allows you to attack with what units you want with first, on how you set them up. You can move columns around to benefit restand. So if you have to use a grade one for an attack, you can literally exchange its position with another unit if it's resting. So you can honestly build up a lot of good things. And guys, that's powerful. That might even make my theory on the Zoo Nation card, which I haven't actually looked up. Um, a set for so how about we do that let's see if um the zoo let's just type in zoo and see what we get zoo my cap locks is on zoo let's see nope I was looking for a set what's that set called I'm sorry guys I'm <coughs> it's midnight where I am right now so I'm a little tired um here we go zoo the awakening zoo all right we're gonna look for this so, let's see if we can find this and we can talk a little bit about this. Boop, 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 ski, boop, boop, paste, search. Waking of Zoo, here we go. 
All right, we're gonna um, slop that on as a nice thumbnail reminder so I can find that easier in the future. So we have some units confirmed, that's about it. We have units that we know we'll be getting, some confirmed reprints. Um, new face mutant little, we have a new little, oh no we don't, this is just another reprint I guess. Um, let's see. This is what I'm curious about. We know nothing about this, but that it breaks the highest record in power. The only way this can break power is if it's 30k plus. And I believe, I firmly believe it's going to be. I believe this to be the strongest because when we come up here to the recluse of Fant Phantasm... Blue Asha, <clears throat> we know nothing about her skill. It, they literally said that this card's skill was unknown because it's a mystery. And I'm going to go to, I'm about to head to bed once I'm done recording this. And I'm going to start writing down theories for her skill. Being that it's blocked out, I'm assuming it's a fairly easy skill. I, I mean, I'm not sure. I just, just sort of wish they'd revealed the whole card art. But still, I mean, we have new, we have the dark face here as well with her skill confirmed. So I figured I'll go over this as well. Um, Counter Blast 1, when this is placed on Van, or when your G unit strides, you may pay the cost if you do choose a unit. If you choose a, if you do choose a column and your opponent cannot call units to that rear guard column during their next turn, nor can they be superior called. Generation Break, Soul Blast 1, at the beginning of your ride phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, your opponent chooses a face, a face up card in their damage zone and turns it face down. That's also really good, and you counter charge. So this unit is really good, and I can't wait to see these these two units right here go off. And I can't wait to see how this character is gonna utilize this unit, and how broken it's gonna be. I mean, guys, think about it. We know nothing else about the other Xeroth Dragons or Xenos, or any of that, but we know he's gonna be powerful. And if my theory is right and he is the weakest out of the six, Vanguard might have a problem coming up. I'm not sure. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm excited for this. But I'm not sure if it was the right move for Bushiro to introduce such broken cards. Yes, they're finishers. You don't need a copy of it to flip face up. And you're losing your whole G zone. So you will not be able to activate GB skills after this. So let's see where the game turns. But guys, this unit's skill is just beautiful, scary, and I don't know. It's going to be interesting over the next couple weeks. As we can come to conclude G series, hopefully, please God, let this be the last G series. I didn't mean God. Our, our destroyer, is, what's your face from Vanguard? God, I really... God, I, I do it again. I'm now gonna have. Nope, I'm not editing this video if it gets flagged for that word. Um, I'm gonna need you guys to uh, watch it. But again, it's gonna be interesting. I'll see you all later. I've been the Silver Wolf, tired and can't talk anymore. See you later. Peace.